Hello, Tar Heels. I'm so glad all of you could gather tonight. Come one, come all. Here on my channel, I cover all aspect of basketball. I must break some terrible news to you today. Eric Montross, 52 years old and widely regarded as one of the all-time great Tar Heels, passed away from cancer. The basketball community and the UNC family have suffered a tremendous loss with this news. My goal in making this film is to honor Montross and all that he has accomplished on and off the court. In 1971, Eric Montross came into this world in Indianapolis, Indiana. He was a McDonald's All-American in 1990 and a top player at Lawrence North High School, where he helped his team win two state championships. He subsequently became one of the most dominant collegiate basketball centers in history after joining the famous coach Dean Smith at the University of North Carolina. He was an integral part of North Carolina's 1993 NCAA a championship team that beat Michigan and the Fab Five. Aside from being an academic All-American, he was also named to the All-ACC team twice. In 1994, he earned a degree in political science from the University of North Carolina. Boston Celtics snatched Montross with the ninth overall pick in the 1994 NBA draft. He averaged 4.5 points and 4.6 rebounds per game throughout his eight seasons in the NBA. His other NBA teams include the Mavericks of Dallas, Nets of New Jersey, Sixers of Philadelphia, Pistons of Detroit, and Raptors of Toronto. After hanging up his sneakers in 2002, he moved back to Chapel Hill and started calling UNC men's basketball games on the radio. He was also employed by the UNC Athletics Department's fundraising organization, the Rams Club. Montross was an exceptional human being in addition to being a fantastic basketball player. He loved his family very much and did his best for his four kids. Along with his many other passions, he was an ardent philanthropist who gave generously to organizations like the UNC Children's Hospital. He spearheaded the creation of the Father's Day Basketball Camp, an annual event that has brought in millions of dollars for the hospital. In addition to visiting patients and their families often, he was a member of the hospital's board of visitors. Many people, particularly the younger Tar Heels, found motivation and admiration in him. Shortly after receiving her cancer diagnosis in March 2023, Montrose started treatment. In October 2023, he made the public announcement of his illness, and the news that he would not be able to join the radio broadcasts for the 2023-24 season. He reiterated his commitment to battling each day and thanked the fans for their support. In addition, he promised to root for the Tar Heels during every game. His courageous fight against cancer came to an end on December 18, 2023. At his residence, he had friends and family around him. The basketball world, and the UNC community were both profoundly affected by the legacy of Eric Montross, a genuine tart heel. His bravery, compassion, kindness, and excellence will live on in his legacy. His impact will endure long after his passing. Eric Montross, may you rest in peace. You are deeply loved and cherished by the Carolina family. Your attention in seeing this video is greatly appreciated. Post your thoughts and sympathies in the space provided. And if you want to see more basketball videos, use that like, share, and subscribe button. Remain safe and healthy till our paths cross again.